If I throw an arm punch and body at the same time, I feel like I could generate way more power with less effort and create something beautiful. What's up, I'm Eddie Avasolo from CSA, and this is the technique of the week. Uh, this is a PVC pipe wrapped in duct tape, so if you can get one of these or a roller or something, you know, and a skateboard without the wheels. Basically, it just makes me more conscious about where my weight actually is. There's too much on my left, too much on my right. I want to learn how to throw and pop out my punches heavy without having to really, like, turn my body so much. You can start nice and slow. Eventually, I'll get to a point and I'll be here long enough to where I can start just popping my shoulder. And still being able to balance. So then when I'm here and I'm on the ground, I feel way more grounded, way more secure. My base feels stronger, which gives me extra power. Hi, -o. Are you creating power throwing your punches without just arm punching while you're up there? Uh, that's actually what I'm doing is I'm, I'm arm punching. When I learn how to throw my arms along with turning my body, you know, and I, and I make them in sync with each other, create something beautiful. So you keep your shoulders nice and loose and you just pop them Yeah, nice them and loose. The same way you would throw a kick, you're not flexing your leg or nothing. You know what I mean? You're letting your hips do the work. It's the same thing with my punch. I'm just throwing my hand where it needs to be and it's all coming from the body and the fact that I can really throw an arm punch. If I throw an arm punch and body at the same time, I feel like I could generate way more power with less effort, you know what I mean? Like I'm not sitting here like, you know. I, I can pop my arm out and throw an arm punch but still turn my body with it. So it's nice and loose. It doesn't burn out my shoulder, you know, I'm still on balance.